Hi, I'm Holly Love. And I'm Rich Bonaducci. And you're watching Talk 365. On KJazz. Welcome to the show, and what a show it is. We're going to teach you how to play a game called Hoagie. Hoagie. The game called Hoagie. It's named after a sandwich. Uh, if you don't remember, check out our YouTube page because we went to this SaltCon event with uh, Quirky Engine Entertainment Games, and they have a number of games, but one is called um, Panic Fire, and Rich will tell you he beat me, which he did, and I'm going to redeem myself today with Hoagie. Yeah, they actually have a different branches, Quirky Engine Entertainment, and one of them is Three-Headed Giant. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of like kids' games, and they have uh, Panic Fire, which, which is really cool. It's a card game with a gun. Mm -hmm. You might remember that footage when we were playing around shooting. And this one, again, is called Hoagie, and it's strictly a card game, and it's really cool. And, well, that's all we'll say, because yeah. stick around. A couple of cute little kids are going to teach us how to play it. It'll be a really good segment. And beyond that, Rich has got your financial news you can use coming up. And uh, what else, man? It's it's holiday time. It is officially summer holiday time. That's for sure. Yes. Yes. Kent and I did a uh, summer preview, and we started basically with the first movie of the summer. Mm -hmm. Because that really kicks it off on July 1st, which was Independence Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and yeah. So we're officially in summer, and no one does anything. I yeah. wish. I was just going to say, Utah makes July like the holiday vacation <coughs> month. Holiday month. Like pretty much everybody takes their vacation either over the 4th of July or over the 24th or over a way to somehow reach it so that the vacation days for the 4th and then you take your vacation and then the vacation for the 24th mean no one works, which means when I call you, you don't answer me. I wish no one worked. <laughs> I wish you, we could take I July know. off. I know. Maybe we can't. We can't. No, we can't. Nope. Oh. Too much to do. It's going to be a good month. <clears throat> but I do have some stuff to do. Okay. I think I can fix my, my car, my cabrio. Oh, my goodness. Thank the heavens above. It is a... A Fourth of July miracle. I, 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 I'm, uh, Valerie and I were, were, Valerie and I were looking at it, and and I was remembering what they told you was wrong with it. Uh, the rusty and cable. They said the rusty cable broke. Yep. Right. Yep. It didn't. Oh. The cable still connected all the way through. There's a plate at the very bottom that the cable connects to uh -huh. that came off. Oh. I think all I have to do is get a new plate, and put it back on there, and it's connected again. No more picture back here. I'm so, I'm gonna we're, if we get some time during this, you know, supposedly vacation vacation July of Utah, July. I'm gonna he see won't. if I can fix it. But I'm not I gonna try say to help anything. You. I'm just gonna show up one day at your place and be like, and I will never ever borrow it or drive it ever no, again. No, you won't. But I'll mm -hmm. have a convertible in July, and that will be important. Which is what you want. Yes, always, always what we want. Yeah. Okay, well, I really hope that happens because I'm really so tired I. of the, you know, whole Holly killing cars thing. I could use that karma to leave. It's not my fault. 20 karma. years of rusting. 20 karma. years of rusting, people. I just drove it like twice. Karma. Give me. Yeah. K-A-R or C-A-R. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. I tried and then I failed in the middle of it. That was bad. Okay, but we won't fail coming up, so stick with us. It's going to be a fun show. Uh, anything else? News you can use. All right, we'll be right back right after this. Hair care for the Talk 365 team provided by Becky Betts. Non-attorney spokesperson, attention women with ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one use baby powder before your diagnosis, call 800-226-2156 now. You may be entitled to compensation. For decades, medical studies have linked long-term use of baby powder with ovarian cancer. If you or someone you love was diagnosed with ovarian cancer after using baby powder, call 800-226-2156 now. University Credit Union, local to Utah, loyal to you. Welcome back everybody. As promised, Rich Bonaducci has some financial news you can use brought to you by university credit union 
Rich, what do you have for us this fine day? Something that everybody needs to pay attention to, but they hate it. Oh no! Credit. There, but <sighs> here's the thing: they yeah. get they get some things mixed up. Everyone knows, oh, my credit score. My credit score is 600 or 700 or whatever it is. But there's also a credit report. Yes. And the government has mandated, the federal government has mandated that you get a free credit report every year. You do not have to pay for it. Okay. Does getting the credit report ding your credit? No. It's called a soft pull. Oh, see, that's important to know. Yes. I didn't know that. But here's the thing. People think the credit score is on there. Oh. It isn't. The credit oh. report and the credit score are two different things. I didn't know that. Yeah. So here's and here's what you need to know about all this stuff. Um, there's a, a website called annualcreditreport.com. It is the one officially set up with the government in mind. It's it's the website to go to for your free credit report that you get every year. And on the credit report, I'm assuming it has like basically dings, like things that have hit your credit. Well, good and bad for your credit. Okay. It, it's, it's a total report. Okay. It basically will show everything that you have charged or loans. Late pays or early pays or good, or pays. good things. Everything. Yeah. Okay. You, you just got a car. It's going to be on there. Mm -hmm. Credit cards, all that stuff. Some of them are so involved that it'll show that you didn't, you didn't pay your utility bill or something like that. Wow. It depends on who reports to and the shows up on that report. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that you get for free. And you really do get it for free. No credit card is needed for that website. Okay. You just go there, annualcreditreport.com, fill in your information, and you get your credit report right there. You can have it mailed to you, uh -huh. or you can just put it on your uh, computer and save a PDF, mm -hmm. which you can print out later. Mm -hmm. And you can do that every year for free. Okay. And what that does is, that is the report that the three major credit card credit companies go to when creating the score. Okay. So the number, the score is based on the report and the report is the thing that you get for free. Yes. You don't get the number for free. You have to pay for that. And? It dings your credit. Uh, no, the, uh, the uh, you can also, you can soft pull your own credit. Oh. But if other people pull your credit, that's where it dings. Oh, okay. A little bit. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, Equifax, uh, Experian, TransUnion. Okay. Those are the three biggies. Okay. That that with when you go to get a, a house or a car or something, those are the ones that the bank will check with to see your credit score. Mm -hmm. Except all three of these companies use the same report. They use that report that you get for free, mm -hmm. but they crunch the numbers differently. Uh oh. And that's why Experian might give you a seven forty, and Equifax might give you a seven. Interesting. And it's and it's weird. There's and, no regulation. There's no real regulation as to how they come up with their number. In fact, they have huh. competitors who crunch numbers in different ways. But this is those are just the big three that people stick with. And some banks will only go with one. Some banks will only strictly pull from TransUnion. Mm -hmm. But what if your credit score is higher at Experian? Then that's not fair. Then it kind of stinks for you. But some banks will pull from all three and take average. an average. That seems like the right thing. Which is kind of good, you would think, except now you've got three dings. Oh, Instead yeah, that's one. true. It's, it's a real, you get one on each. It's not a whole lot of fun. But here's where it gets even worse. Again, annualcreditreport.com is the only place you go to, to get, get the, the report. Free, re free report. Okay. But there are other places that will say, we'll give you a free credit score. Mm -hmm. And you'll find them online. None of them are free. Really? Some of them you have to put in your credit card and you have to um, apply for a subscription, or a, you have to subscribe basically to a credit monitoring service. Yep. So mm -hmm. they'll, oh yeah, they'll give you the number for free after you subscribe to this thing. For a year for them to for tell you year. if something weird is going on. And right. And it's not that that's a bad thing to have credit monitoring, but just know that you are, you're paying for the monitoring and then getting the, the, the FICO score as it's called. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of them will kind of fool you into saying, you know, they say that they're free but you are paying for it in some way. Mm -hmm. So uh, be careful. Uh, again, you just be careful. But even then, you don't get you don't get the number for free. But the thing is the number is kind of what you want. 
Like you can yeah. look at your report. By the way, the report's very important. You look at it and go, hey, I paid that car off. That's still showing. Yeah. And then you can write to them and get that stuff corrected. So the report is very good. Basically, what you're doing is you're looking at the stuff that TransUnion looks at too. Uh huh. So that if they say, oh no, you didn't pay all these bills, you can go, uh uh, yes, I did. Yeah. I have my report. Yeah. But there is a place where you can pay, I believe it's $9.95, 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. So basically three bucks a, a service, Equifax, you know, um, 10 bucks and you get all three numbers. See, I that's what I would want because if it stinks that it dings your credit three times, but it you does, would want when to they know pull it, yeah, it dings. if you're going to go after it, you want to know what they're all saying. Yeah. And I would think it's interesting. Do you know what your difference is? without having to out your some, credit, but some, do you yeah. know what the difference is between? And so, well, oh, you mean how they crunch yours. the numbers Yeah, do you, do you know oh, what no. yours are, the difference, how much of a span I've it is? I've seen 20 points difference. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow, okay. Yeah. In fact, I get a sort of a score monitoring through my bank, which is USAA, mm -hmm. but they only use Equifax, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I'll look at the other one on TransUnion and it's 20 points lower. That's so annoying. And it's really annoying when that 20 points is on the difference between six and seven. Being like from average to good. Yeah, 740, 720 is one thing. Yeah. 705 to six, you know, whatever, that's another. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So, I mean, we can talk about, you know, another time about how best to, to address your credit. Yep. But always, every year, like just put it in your calendar to remind you once a year, like on your birthday or whatever, mm -hmm. just pick a date, April Fool's or whatever, to go ding. Oh, hey, I credit should order report. my free credit report and just get it. But then obviously you have to pay attention to your number too. Well, and then we could do a segment on when you get your credit report, how to go after those people yourself or what yeah. good companies to hire that are wrongful dings. Yeah, that's going to be my term for it. <laughs> that is a huge, that's a huge thing. Yeah. Because it sometimes it takes up to 90 days for those places to even respond yeah. to take off And it's that usually stuff. like the cable box from LA wow. cable. As much as I talk about the cabrio, I have heard about this cable no, box for like a year. because it was like tanking my credit and I turned it back in. Jerks, like I want your stupid box. Yeah, Anywho. You don't have the service. What I you know, the box? like why do I want it? I well, gave it back. All right. Anyway, so yes, we should talk about that as the next one. Very yeah, good news yeah. you can use. Thank you very much. Okay, coming at you right now is our financial tip of the day from University Credit Union. Here you go. Hi, I'm Becky Schwendemann, Vice President of Operations for the University Federal Credit Union. Do you like to eat? I know I do. We are currently offering two times rewards on all restaurant and grocery purchases. This means two points for every dollar spent at all grocery stores and restaurants. Come in today and apply for your rewards visa. University Credit Union, local to Utah, loyal to you. You trusted them to keep your loved ones safe. But each year, thousands of older Americans will fall victim to abuse under the watch of a nursing home or other care facility. If you or a loved one has been treated for an injury while residing at a care facility, call us now to connect with an attorney for the justice you deserve. Call the Rely On Group at 800-714-9662. That's 800-714-9662. Hoagie from Monkey Beat Games. Game of Sandwich Building Fun from Monkey Beat Games. Talk 365 Studio Space provided by Media Riff. Hello, we're going to play a game now with Piper and Niall, uh, son and daughter of Larry, who is amongst the folks who have invented these games. They are with Quirky Engine Entertainment, who has different lines of games for adults and kids. This one is under their three headed giant. Uh, branch of games and this is called panic fire we played it before this is trash war we'll get to those in other segments but right now we're gonna make a hoagie we're gonna play a game this is an awesome game where you make a sandwich pretty much pretty much and and you can't eat it but it is a great game for people of all ages as you can see this is a lot of fun yeah. how many cards do i get you get um five cards 
Do I draw them? Yes. Okay. Does Rich draw five? Yes. Okay. Uh, can, you can I just keep these double plays? No. No? Put those in here. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Nice. Niall, how old are you? Oh, yeah. You're five. Good job. Oh, five count and five. I'm five. I know. How about that? Do you like this game, Niall? Yep. Is it your favorite game? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? You were saying you know how to play all your dad's games almost. Well, not not like, you know, Trash Wars and Panic Fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so, I'll teach you. First time I played, I won. <coughs> oh, I don't know that this is so good. Wars? And you're 11, Piper? Yes. Okay. How old are you, Holly? Uh, 28. Still. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How old are you, Richie? Five. I can count to 28. Yeah? So, okay, I'll start. So I'm count by down fives, you might be right. right. Okay, Piper, I give five cards, right? Yes. You get five cards each. And they're different uh, ingredients to a sandwich. Tell us, Piper, um, what That's goes yours. in our sandwich? Um, there's so there's two breads, yeah. one one lettuce, one meat, and one cheese. So Do we all down. have our own bread? Yes. Oh, okay. We're, we're all, all going to build our own little yeah, sandwich. You're all building your we own sandwiches. Have. This is my sandwich. That's but if I have only these pieces, then I bread. just play them on your we bread and ruin bread. your sandwiches. Yes. Bread. Okay. Oh, and I'm the always, sandwich ruiner. And you always have to draw a card. after. So you he just it. laid down a bread, oh. but he didn't take a card, though. Yes. Yeah, so now you have to take a card Take a card now. So you always have to have five Ooh, cards. I won't, I won't look at your card. <laughs> yeah. I'll stop looking. I will go, and I am going to lay down a lettuce. And so I'm getting closer to Does bread have to be first? No. Oh, I'll lay a lettuce. So where's the prosciutto? Prosciutto? Yeah. Like the meat? Yeah. The well, I'll do that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's right there. That's close enough. It's so nice. I draw at the end of my yeah. turn to make sure I have five? My okay. turn. It's your turn. Oh, I got, I got mold on my meat. So then when it's your turn again, you, if you have another one, you can lay it down. But now it's my I turn. I mean, I have to lay down another meat to fix that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. If not, I'm just stuck with moldy meat for now. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm like going to lay down. So you lose it. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm going to lay down another bread and it's your turn. Okay. Um, I have a cheese. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Can I help you build a sandwich? No. I can only build my own sandwich. You can only help so unbuild. So what if I don't have meat? Can I lay down something else? Yes. Okay, well, I got some bread anyway. You know what I'm thinking? Bam. I'm Go thinking, Bonaducci. I'm thinking expansion deck. I'm Ooh. thinking mustard. I'm uh -huh. thinking pickles. Yep. I think I'm hungry, uh, pretty much. I think we do need some prosciutto. We need some different yeah. kinds of meats. There you go. There's my meat. Uh-huh. And you draw. Then, I, then I pick a card. Okay, now it's your turn. We both got... Ooh, it's up to you. Oh, you want to do that to me? Nice. Nice. Okay. Good job, Niall. Pick a card. Back. I'll pick you four. There you go. Okay, me. Oh, no, I did that the last time. One, two, three, four. Oh, I actually remembered. Um, <laughs> I drew a card before I, I did it. it I did it right. Okay, there it's we go. Good for mostly all ages. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm skipped. Oh, yeah. It's your turn, Niall. It's your turn, Niall. And then we get rid of that. Yeah. Oh. So you oh, just I forgot put to draw. moldy bread. <clears throat> oh, you want to you pick a card there, now? There we go. I'm going to... Do a double play. Okay. Fix my bread and mold. And mold up my meat. So each of these cards have a moldy friend. So the bread has a moldy friend, and you can only mold the bread with the bread because um, we played a little preliminary game, and I learned the hard way you can't put moldy meat you on moldy bread. You can't mold up your meat with moldy bread. No, it has to be the same. So there's some Although strategy here. Life. And you have to keep watch on who's getting too close at getting their sandwich done because they sneak up on you. And block this their sandwich. This one's really good. So am I up? Um, yes. Okay, I'm gonna fix my meat. There you go. I'm gonna get a dude. You gonna put down some cheese? Hey. She's good. She just oh, molded just your like cheese. that. And I'll take your card for you. There you go. That's hers. Um, I'll have See, to I'm mold friend. your bread because I don't really have that many cards. All right. I got some cheese. Swiss cheese. Nice. It's your turn, Niall. Lettuce. Lettuce. There you Niall, go. Niall, which one I is your favorite? You. Which is your favorite guy on these cards? I bet I know uh, which one. Which one do you like? Is it mucus cheese? Maybe? A mucus lettuce. I mean. I know. It's lettuce. <laughs> you go, Miss Piper. Okay. I'm going to double play. 
fix my bread, and lay down some uh, lettuce. Piper just threw down is what just happened. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah, move that. Um, I am going to... Have you ever made a sandwich in real life? Me? Yeah. Of course. Because your, your sandwich is looking pretty lean. Oh, okay. Here's Here we go. Um, I'll put down some lettuce. There you go. I'll pick one up. I I have like the carbo load sandwich, and you have like the ad conversion. I'm on the paleo. You got like a, a, a I'm on the yeah, paleo. paleo diet. Lettuce wrap over there. Your turn, now. Please. <laughs> I get it. Oh, did you get it? Okay. Four, five. Okay. Not the best. I'm lean on it. it. Okay. Keep removing. Okay. Holding down the, the fort. The fort. That's some ham. Okay, I'm going to oh. expansion deck. You have to tell your dad about that. But I get ten percent. It's my idea. Okay. Okay, me. Um, because I I'm get getting a on that. some cheese. Your turn. Oh, I'm supposed to drop. Bad cheese. Uh. My. Own. I was forced. Your turn. Okay. Your turn now. Oh, oh. She is good like that. Um, I'm good just meaning. gonna go. Meaning. She's good at the game. Like she just oh. Okay. Cheese. Oh, oh, oh. You can't put another cheese. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant that. I meant to clean my cheese. Mm -hmm. I meant to scrape it off. You can't have just, extra cheese. Yeah, I meant to clean my cheese off. Your turn now. I will get the bread. Some bread. And another bread. No. <laughs> <laughs> he likes being in his, your bread. in his area. Okay. Now when you have roommates, you can do that. You just lettuce. Not if you want to have friends that like you that are your roommates. Just be like, I didn't take a bread. It, that is, yeah. So you playing or what? <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Um, I'm going to uh, mold some bread. You think she's not hungry? I kind of am. Well, I am. There's my bread. I really think that you have to have sandwich night while you play this game. Is that what you guys do at your house? Do you have sandwich night and play hoagie? Mm. Do you build actual sandwiches while you play this game? Put it on it. Sometimes. You yeah. Fixed it. Oh, you got, well, your meat's already okay. Niall, yes. what's your favorite kind of sandwich? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. What I kind of jelly do you like? I peanut butter and jelly in here. Uh, apple. Apple jelly. I think we might have to come up with there's another game. The, P <laughs> the PB and J series. And you said yours was? Um, mine is a turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwich. So we gotta have, I think we gotta have some alternatives here. Um, is it my turn again? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Turn. I'm gonna lay down a lettuce. Fix your lettuce, yep. Yeah. Okay. You just wash uh, it off, it's fine. My turn. Easy fix. <laughs> Easy fix. Okay, well, I was hoping to like sweep this, and I can't. So, what are you doing? covering up your bread. Oh, I didn't mean to. Um. Anyway, so I'm almost winning. Where are you at? Um, I'm gonna take Niall's bread and win because I cheated. So, hey. as you can see, my Rich Bonaduce. Oh, see. <laughs> no, I already made my sandwich. I had a sandwich. Nope, nope, nope. You did it. So this game is really super yeah. fun. It is Tell fun what, for the I'm whole trade, family. You can actually have a five-year-old teach you how to play and still oh win God, you. Yes. And obviously keep Rich on track so he's not cheating. Because, Niall, I'm so glad you were here. Thank you so much for your help. Can I get a high five for being awesome? <laughs> Piper, I thank you so a, much. Did you I get your sandwich? You're going to make my, here, I'll leave mine out and you can do whatever you want with mine and make me win because that's what I want. Okay, be sure and log on to Quirky Engine Entertainment or Three Headed Giant to okay? basically register. Niall is out of here. He's done. He's, He's done. played enough of this game. You can out. register for the tournaments and watch for where we are going to be next. What game store? Is it the one next door to you? You might have to travel a little. I don't know. Come to it all. We have so much fun playing Panic Fire. Rich beat me the last time. I need to win. I have a little and I just beat her at vendetta. Hoagie. He cheated at Hoagie. Um, and then if you want to check out Hoagie and find all of these games, be sure and log on to Quirky Engine Entertainment. And um, Piper, I think we need to rematch you and I. And uh, we'll be right back right after this. Come on, man. I'm going to win this time. No cheating. No cheating. I want to win Panic Fart.
You did cheat. No, I have no idea. You had the thing in your pocket. No, I totally... I, I know I you did. I don't even know how I won. I still don't know how I won. I don't even know how to play it. I was just slamming cards down. I happened to do it. I'm totally serious. Beginner's luck, as they say. He had the card in his pocket. I did not. Talk 365 studio space provided by Media Riff. Hoagie, a family game from Monkey Beak Games. Players race to make the perfect sandwich in a card game of crazy kitchen fun. Play ingredient cards to build the perfect hoagie. But watch out, other players can spoil your ingredients with the Yugi's, a gang of pesky sandwich spoiling tricksters. The first player to make the perfect sandwich wins. Hoagie is a great family game, suitable for even the youngest players. Hoagie, a sandwich building card game from Monkey Beak Games. Talk 365 studio space provided by Media Riff. Welcome back, everybody. If you missed that last segment, do log on to our YouTube page at very least. That's where we house all of our stuff or find us on our website or Facebook, one of our social media accounts, because we are going to definitely play for you what you didn't see, which was our first take where we learned for the first time the whole game and we rolled on it. And oh my gosh, Niall and Piper are so dang <laughs> cute. And yes. that was really a fun game. Check out the extended version of that game. You know what? I'm serious. I'm buying that game. I know you That's are. That's a fun game. I, I don't doubt that you are. Get to Three-Headed Giant, which is part of the uh, Quirky Engine Entertainment mm -hmm. guys. Get to Three-Headed Giant and you can buy Panic Fire and lots of other games like Hoagie. Yes, they have, they have fun stuff. So that was really fun. Piper and Niall, let's do it again. That was fun. Yeah, game night. All right. Game so, day. Because... It's yeah. true, yes. So what do you have for us uh, joke-wise, oh, Mr. Oh, my, my joke every man should know. You're going to love this one because it involves a funeral. I know how you love the death jokes. I just love the really dark and sad ones in the morning to pick us up and start our day. Here you go, then. Three, <laughs> three guys are at the open casket funeral of a friend. Mm -hmm. The first one says, there's a legend in my family that if you bury a man with a little bit of money, it will help him in the afterlife. So he drops 10 bucks in the casket. Second guy wasn't planning on it, but he digs in his wallet. He finds a $10 bill and he says, all right, and puts it on top. The third guy goes, well, you know, I'll do it too. I'll put in more, I'll put in 20. So he writes a check for $40 and takes back the two tens as change. <laughs> that one was good. All right. That was good. That was okay, Don. Steinberg. Way to go, Steinberg. You don't want to. You don't want to really just waste your cash. I mean, you know, well, check, no, he he's good for it. Yeah, I'm sure he's in the afterlife. All about intention. <laughs> yeah, his intentions were very good. Yes, extremely good. Okay, well, I loved it. Um, thank you. Thank you for joining us. What a fun show. Uh, do check out uh, QuirkyEngine.com, Three at a Giant, if you want the Hoagie game, and watch our stuff online because that was really fun. Have a great day. Yeah. 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 We'll let you go. <laughs>